Hello, so this is going to be a video about all about gas masks that don't really fit me because they're too small and I bought ones that are either too small or a centre random size and it was a small or um, you know due to a bit of a translation error when I was attempting to buy a mask they're too small now if I look like I'm going to sneeze it's because I have been sneezing uh, I've been looking through all my cupboards and everything for my Serbian M2F, uh, sorry M2M gas mask um, which, when I bought it, I thought the M meant medium. Apparently the M was like the Serbian Croat word for small, like what it stood for. And the one that's actually the S is the medium mask, so that would have been a perfect one for this video. But sadly, I can't find it anywhere. I've looked in loads of cupboards, on top of loads of cupboards. You know, I found lots and lots of other masks that I knew would be in those places, but this particular one isn't where I thought it would be, and it's nowhere to be found. So it will just turn up at some point. But I need to order an M2S at some point to actually get one that fits me. So... That's not going to be in this video, otherwise I would have included it. But we're going to have a look at some other random masks. So, let's start off with a funny one. I'm not obviously including children's masks in this video, because that's besides the point. This is a Hungarian version of the PMG. Um, you can see it's actually in very good condition. Uh, apparently, the easier to tell it's a Hungarian one is they've got lots and lots of smaller holes, although they could also be the Ukrainian model. But I have a feeling there isn't Cyrillic on this, uh, like there is on the obviously Ukrainian ones. But you can see, oh, this is 1991 as well, so it's a fairly modern one. Uh, but it's a size 1. And here's the interesting thing, right? When it's a PMG made by Hungary, size 1 means small. When it is um, the other mask made by Hungary, I've got a size 4. Size 4 is small, so thank you, Hungary, for all that confusion. So anyway, let's put this mask on first of all. Ah. It's in my head. So this is really tight and uncomfortable, you can probably see from where the eyes are, this doesn't fit me at all. It's a bit like Halloween 3, isn't it? Ah, it's a head melt. Um, my nose is being crushed by this one, it's really an uncomfortable fit. Um, I'm not even going to attempt to do this, but I can feel the tight in the mask, but there you go. So, I know these stretch out a bit more you wear them, but my size 1 Hungarian PMG, which I believe is Hungarian anyway, is really, really tiny and, um, you know, absolutely crushes my head when I put it on, especially the nose and mouth area. Now, another thing I will bring up is some of these masks are designed for certain ethnic groups in certain countries. Somebody's going to shout racist because they always do when I say this, but it's completely factual. So when I go over my two Chinese masks... Um, although they are both small sizes and don't fit me very well, they were obviously designed for people with Asian sort of bone structures and faces, not me being, you know, like an Anglo-Celtic uh, European, so just bear that in mind. But yeah, the Hungarian PMG in size 1 crushes my head. So now let's look at a Hungarian mask in size 4, because thank you Hungary for your stupid numbering system. This bundle of joy, you know, I did a video on this recently, uh, my Hungarian M76 or 76M, the civilian version of what I believe was the M69, was it? Or the M67, the Hungarian military mask. Anyway, um, so you'll see on this one, it's a size 4. But the size 4 also means small. Because apparently, you know, the numbering system was opposite. Military masks, 1 is smallest. Civilian masks, 4 is smallest. So that's great logic. So you saw what happened when I tried to put this on in the last video. But let's just do it again. So as you can see, it's got this really confusing, weird head strap system anyway with like this roller on here. Um, I'm going to hold my breath when I put it on. The filter's plugged anyway, but as you know, not a good idea to breathe through these old filters. Straps are blocking my ears. What a great size for my head. Ah. So there you go, I did a video on this recently. Uh, if I can find this in a size 2, maybe I'll get one in a size 2 just for the novelty. Again, this doesn't look too small, but apparently people are saying that size 4 is the smallest. I suppose if you hold it next to my skull that way, you can see it is a small. Yeah, that's quite obvious, isn't it? Um, but yeah, this mask uh, obviously does not fit me very well at all. As I said, I'm not a massive fan of the design. This particular one is from 1982, as you can see in there, maybe, if the lighting's good enough, which you probably can't. Um, so yeah, not a massive fan of this mask, as you all know. Um, I think it looks cool though, no denying that, because um, it's a very retro vintage looking mask. However, yes, thank you Hungary for having reverse sizes on your masks and not sticking to a system, but I suppose Britain did that as well. 
on older British masks, size 1 was small and size 4 whatever was large. When it got came to the S10, they said actually a size 1 S10 is the biggest one, and a size 4 S10 is tiny, because logic. Now let's look at the kind of Chinese PMG ripoff that's actually quite cool. This is a Chinese M69. I've done a video on this before, so I actually think it's a very competent mask for sort of communist China to have made when they made it, but size 1. So, um... Kind of looks like an alien skull, doesn't it, this mask? So it's kind of, it works exactly like the PMG. It's got a voice diaphragm here, it's got the XL valve here. Filter goes on the side, but it's got triangular lenses and it's got more plastic parts, um, you know, more rigid parts that make it, you know, better. It's also a normalised thread, so, um, you know, you can stick NATO filters on it if you want to. Anyway, so let's just put this on. I can breathe through this because no filter. So uncomfortably tight to my head but this does actually at least make an airtight seal as you can see the voice diaphragm on this is fairly good i'll show you the inside of it the later chinese masks basically still use this exact same voice diaphragm system or a very similar one because why not just a bit of rubber that basically like a drum beater So I can't remember which way it is to tighten this because often it's inverted when you're around the other side of the mask. So let's try lefty loosey. Yeah, it is because it's inverted. But yeah, this mask is actually very competent. I really like the design of this mask. It's just a shame I don't have it in like one or two sizes up. Or it wouldn't crush my head wearing it. But as a result, I can barely open my mouth. My nose bridge is being crushed. But my eyes are pretty centralised in the triangular lenses, so that is good, but overall very, very small for my head. Okay, get it. It's hard to actually get this thing off, good thing that it's not suffocating me. There we go, right, it's off. But yeah. The M69 is actually a good mask design, I have no fault with the mask design, it's just a shame it's not in my size, because it was one of those ones where a seller just had one in, so, you know, I bought it. Okay then, so, what's another mask that's too small for me? The last one for this video. It's also a Chinese mask, but this one, I guess the S on there means small, but again, it wasn't an advertised size one, it was just the seller had one in, and it was cheap, and it was in the UK, so I bought one. It's the FMJ05, also known as... Uh, the MF11. So, as I've said before about this, this seems to be actually a very competent, good mask. The issue is that it's not in my size again. So, let me get this out. So, um, this is the mask. I'll take the filter and the, like, thing to keep the shape out. So, basically, in design, this is very similar to a light anti-gas respirator, how it works. If we take this cover off, you'll see it's got a very similar voice diaphragm and exhale valve system. But there we go. Um, you've got... That's your voice diaphragm and exhale valve system. So, the blue bit again, or the bluey-green bit, or turquoise-coloured bit, is the voice diaphragm. And then, obviously, you've got your valve around there as your exhale valve. Uh, you can see, obviously, directly into the mask through there. So, that's how that bit works. If you ever wanted to use this as a prop kind of mask, you could probably just take this out, put the grate back on, and then you could breathe very easily through the front. Um, but let's put that all back together and screw this on. So, by design, this mask is very good, and as I said, it works very, very similarly to the light anti British light anti-gas respirator, because that's a very similar voice diaphragm and exhale valve system that that uses, especially on the Mark II model forwards and the Canadian C3. However, you might have already seen, too small for my head if you look at them in comparison. But anyway, uh, I can't see a sizing number on it. Oh, yes, I can. It's a 1. So again, China is simple. 1 is small. Probably 3 or 4 is large. So let's put this on. Now, I could make do with this mask, don't get me wrong, it's not one that's um, too tight. But, well, it's too tight, you know what I mean, it's not horribly uncomfortably too tight. But the problem again is, around my nose it's being crushed. Now, if I didn't do it very tight, you know, this is okay. I could manage this with this, but it's still not comfortable. But, 
overall this is not a bad design mask. If I had one like a size up from this, or two sizes up, this would actually be a really, really competent mask. So if anybody's wondering if the Chinese FMJ05 is good, yes it is, if you get one in your size. It's basically just a more modern British light anti-gas respirator, that's the easiest way I can sum it up. So, let's get it back off. Although, unlike the British light anti-gas respirator, it actually has a much better strap, so we'll give that to China. Also came with a really weird basic particle filter on there that I broke by accident, obviously. Put your own 40mm filters on it. But, you know, by design this is a good mask. I don't think any of the masks in this video are totally awful. Um, the worst one is the Hungarian um, M76, just because it's not a fully rubberized mask, which means it's very bad at making an airtight seal to your face. It's the only one in this video that wouldn't work if I tried to test it. The others would work and just be really uncomfortable. That one um, isn't great, but if it was in my size, maybe it would work. But again, it's, you know, like I said, the weakest mask in the series. No offence to Hungary, I went to Budapest and loved it. Um, but, you know, I don't particularly like your domestic mask, I'm afraid. Um, but as I said, if it was in my size, I'd be a bit better, more lenient on it. So maybe at some point if I see a size 2 of that turn up, I'll get a size 2 and hopefully that would fit me much better. Um, but all the other masks, yes, if they were in my size, they would be great. Sadly, they are not, but there you go. In this video, you've seen me uncomfortably wrestle with masks too small for my face. Um, unfortunately, most of these were just because you couldn't specify a size from the seller, or they only had one in stock, so when I got it, I got that. The exception being the Serbian M2M, which um, I can't find for this video, as I said, which is really annoying because it's a great mask. But I think at some point I might actually just buy a Serbian M2S, which you've told me, so correct me if I'm wrong, in this video before I order one, when it goes live. Um, the M2S is the size I want, and the reason I love that mask is because it's basically an M9, an American M9, made in 40mm and downsized, sli uh, downsized slightly, so the nose isn't so big. So it's actually like a really comfortable, good design mask, and I love it, because, you know, M9s are like one of the greatest mask designs ever. But there you go. Um, this video, mask too small for my face. I hope you've had some enjoyment seeing my head crushed in by masks too small for my face.